Arizona Senator John McCain has been calling for the United States to intervene and stop the bloodshed in Syria. McCain's calling for airstrikes in the same way the U.S. intervened in Libya. But at the same time, another Republican lawmaker says if the president does intervene the same way, he should be impeached. So what is going on? Ben has the reality check. Well, it was less than a week ago when Defense Secretary Leon Panetta sat before members of Congress to explain the process for U.S. intervention in Syria. And what was said should be stunning to any American. When it comes to uh, uh, the kind of military action where we want to build con uh, a coalition and work with our international partners, then obviously we would like to have some kind of legal basis on which to do it as we did in Libya. So let's start there. The U.S. did not have an American legal basis for intervening in Libya. It was March 19th, almost exactly one year ago, when the U.S. and British forces began firing Tomahawk missiles at Libyan targets. Now the U.S., after getting approval from the U.N. and the Arab League, began to enforce a no-fly zone over Libya to reportedly protect civilians in the town of Benghazi, who were going to be slaughtered, reportedly, by Colonel Muammar Gaddafi. But the mission quickly changed. After enforcing that no-fly zone, the U.S. and NATO partners began bombing various sites in order to force regime change. The bombings by NATO and the U.S. continued until late October and ended with the death of Gaddafi. The operation in Libya, per se, though, was not the problem. So let's not get caught up in that argument. The problem with Libya was that the president did not ask for nor receive congressional authorization for any military action in Libya from the Congress. Under the U.S. Constitution, the president does not have the authority to unilaterally declare war. The U.S. military is not his private army. Rather, under the Constitution, it is the Congress who must make a declaration of war and the president, as commander-in-chief, carries it out. Now, lawmakers over the years have given the president some room on that. The 1973 War Powers Act requires that the president receive authorization for use of the United States Armed Forces within 60 days of beginning a military operation. In the case of Libya, well, the administration made the case after about 90 days that they were only supporting a NATO-led operation and that we were not at war, which is why Senator Jeff Sessions questioned Secretary Panetta about it. Do you think that you can act without Congress uh, to and initiate a no-fly zone in Syria without congressional approval? You know, again, uh, uh, our, our goal would be to, uh, to seek international permission, and uh, we, would, we would come to the Congress uh, and inform you uh, and determine uh, how best to approach this, uh, whether or not we would uh, want to get uh, permission from the Congress. Uh, I think those are issues we would have to discuss as we decide what to do here. Now, if you were listening to that statement, it is stunning. Secretary Panetta says the administration would seek international permission, which, by the way, in another clip, he defines that as NATO, the UN, and the Arab League but then says the administration would only inform Congress, and then again? Whether or not we would uh, want to get uh, permission from the Congress, uh, I think those are issues we would have to discuss as we decide what to do here. Whether or not we would want to get permission from Congress, he says, we would have to discuss and decide if it's something we want to do. All of this has led Congressman Walter Jones of North Carolina to introduce a resolution that states, the use of the military by the executive branch without explicit authorization from Congress is an impeachable offense. So here's what you need to know. The calls of this being an impeachable offense have come from both the right and the left, and it clearly is an impeachable offense based on the Constitution. But are lawmakers even willing to pass this resolution? It's not a partisan issue. It is, however, an issue of law. For the president to unilaterally be able to take our military into war without Congress silences the voice of the people. What's worse, when we only do it after receiving approval from foreign governments, it subjects our entire nation to unaccountable leaders. And that is Reality Check. If you would like to make your voice heard on this story, you can head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by simply searching Ben Swan WXIX. And we do have an update for you.